Good day, dear students. Our topic for week 5 is to determine the objectives and structures of various kinds of reports. So when we say objectives of reports, these are specific results that a person or system aims to achieve within a time frame and with available resources. Thus, it is more specific and easier to measure than goals. Objectives are considered the basic tools that underlie all planning and strategic activities, and these objectives serve as the basis for creating policy and evaluating performances. And in creating objectives, it should be measurable, actionable, realistic, and time-bound condition that must be attained in order to accomplish a particular goal. Thus, objectives define the actions. Another important feature of a report is to have a structure. It is easier for the reader to jump straight to the information they need because each of these sections of a report has its own purpose and will need to be written in an appropriate style to suit. For this lesson, our learning objectives are Describe the objectives and structure of a report. Second, Determine the characteristics of an objective and structure of a report. And lastly, write an objective properly structured in a report. In writing your objectives, we have to consider four criteria. First is the behavior that refers to a specific behavior as indicated by action verbs. Examples are summarize, enumerate, compare, defend, and justify, and many more. Second is audience that refers to the description of the subjects or expected to demonstrate the behavior. And the third one is the criterion. This is the description of the criteria used to indicate whether the behavior of the audience has been demonstrated. And lastly is the condition that refers to the circumstances, equipment, or material to be used by the audience when demonstrating the behavior. This is an example of a part of an objective. By the end of this lesson, learners will be able to cook a well-done steak on the stove using a pan in 4 to 6 minutes. The subject is the learners. The observable action will be able to cook. And the condition is on the stove and the resources is using a pan and the time constraints is in 4 to 6 minutes. How are you going to write the measurable learning objectives? First is you have to identify the subject or noun or thing. It could be a person, a person or thing that is being discussed, described, or dealt with. Second is you have to identify the time constraint when the action would be performed by the subject. Third is to select a subject that is observable to describe the behavior at the appropriate level of learning. Lastly is to add additional criteria to indicate how or when the outcome will be observable to add context for the subject. 